Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to review an SEO app that I use for my business and on my website, and that is called the Smart SEO app. So as always, let's jump into my computer and I'm gonna review that app for you now. Okay, so once you get logged into your Shopify admin, this is my demo store, so it might look a little different than yours, but you're gonna automatically be on your homepage. And then like always, as if you add any kind of app to Shopify, you're gonna scroll down on the left hand side, you're gonna click on apps, which will then bring you to the Shopify app store. And then you are going to type in smart SEO and you are going to select the app that looks like this. So that is their app. And now I'm going to click install app. Okay, and then this is what it's going to look like on the next page. Now, you can scroll down and select the free plan, which is what I am on, and I highly suggest just starting out with the free plan, especially if you're a little like new to SEO. I'm on the free plan, and I think it's you know great. I love it. Um, and it also being on the free plan just allows you to get a feel for the app, understand the app, and you know you don't have to add any more monthly costs or subscriptions to your business, um, which is nice. And you know, I always love to save where I can. But if you're, you know, a pro with SEO, and you're ready to dive right in, you can read about the different plans and different pricings, and you can, you know, select which one is best for you. But for this video, and the one I am on, I'm going to select free plan. Okay, so then you scroll up to the top and you're going to see this setup. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this. Uh, but just a quick thing. So you can go through the menu bar up here and you can click through the, these different things like meta tags, alt tags, so on and so forth. And you can read more about each one. This is everything that has to do with SEO. So if you are new to SEO, I would highly suggest getting familiar with this verbiage because you're going to be seeing it and reading about it nonstop. Okay, so let's click setup. And I have to type in my password because this is my demo store. So give me one second. Okay, so after typing in my password to the demo store, I uh, popped up on this page and now I'm going to click integrate. Cool, so now it is integrated onto the store. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to the welcome page and we are going to go through all of the different um, pages like meta tags, alt tags, things like that. So let's configure the meta tags. So what it does is it's going through and it is adding all of the different meta tags to your um, store. So like these are all my different products and what it's doing is it's rating out of a hundred how strong or weak your meta tags are so for example these are all 50 so i need to do some work on here let's click uh build your website for you this is my most popular package so let's edit this and see how i can get this to be higher than 50. Okay, and what you'll see is when you click on each individual product, it gives you a score and then it also tells you what you need to do to fix it. So it tells you why it gave you that score. So for example, this one says that the title length is less than the recommended minimum of 30 characters. So I need to go through and I need to make sure that this title is uh, 30 characters or more and that will bump up the SEO score. Same thing with the description. So it looks like my description exceeds 160 characters by and minus 304. So I wanna make sure that my description um, doesn't go over 160 characters so it tells you what you need to do to fix all the stuff on your website in terms of SEO and make sure that it's optimized for Google so Google will pick up on your website and it'll rank it higher that's just you know one of the million reasons why I love this app because to be honest like I wouldn't know even where to start if I didn't have this app kind of guiding me and telling me like okay what do I need to improve upon what do I need to keep the same um, you know things like that so this thing, it's a life, it's a lifesaver. All right, now we're gonna go to alt tags. So it goes through again and it shows you every single one of your products. And if you click on edit, or I'm sorry, we have to go back to welcome. And now we're going to click configure alt tags. And then we'll click edit.
Oh, um, the alt tag, just so you know, if you're new to SEO, the alt tag is what you're going to um, label this photo as. So for example, mine is build your website for you package. And then I'm going to save it. And so now that alt tag has been added to this photo. So what is an alt tag you might ask? In terms of Google, if you're if you have a photo, so one of your product photos, for example, um, if you have a photo, Google doesn't know what that photo is unless you tell Google what it is. So if you have a boutique, for example, let's say this is a picture of a blue dress, you would describe your picture using an alt tag. So that way Google knows if someone is searching for that navy blue dress, then it would uh, push that photo in terms of rankings. So again, for example, for me, if someone is searching build your website for you package, Google will know that, hey, this photo is that. So let's push it in terms of ranking because it matches what this customer, potential customer is searching. And then you would just go through and you click edit and you would edit every single alt tag. Okay, now we're gonna move on to image optimization. So when you click on image optimization, this is just the dashboard. So these are the different uh, statistics. So what I'm going to do, and just for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through every single one. You can, you know, dive in and play around with it yourself and just kind of get familiar. But I'm just going to briefly show you, for example, the products. So if I click on products, it shows me that I have uh, 50 images available. So these are all of the different products that I have. And you can see over here, the app is telling me that my images are not optimized. So for the sake of SEO, I want my images to be optimized. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this little green optimize button. Now the status says that it's optimizing and we will see uh, what it says once I'm done with that. Okay, it says complete. Now it says it's saved 69%. So image optimization is important as well in terms of SEO because you don't want the images to slow down your website and you also want the images to load quickly. Loading quickly is huge in terms of SEO. So I would suggest going through and optimizing all of your images using this app. Okay, and then if you go back to the image optimization dashboard, you'll notice the statistics have been updated. So I would suggest going through every single one and making sure you optimize all of your images based upon what the Smart SEO app says. Now moving on, we're going to go to another one which is huge in terms of SEO and that is page speed. And I get website clients asking me all the time how to optimize uh, their pages and they're always like, Megan, you know, my site is so slow, it doesn't load the pages fast. Well, this app will help with that. So I would go to page speed and then Instantly upon there, you'll see this um, article that kind of tells you what's an instant page and why is it important. And you'll see right here, the speed and the design, which is UX, the design of your website is improved significantly, which will be noticed eventually by the Google Core Web Vitals test. So I would suggest clicking enable for instant page because that will allow the SEO app to preload a page before the user even goes to open it. So that way, it loads quickly. So the next one we're gonna go over is another big one and that is broken links. So when you click on broken links, um, you know, it could take a few hours. So I'm not going to do this on the YouTube video because I don't, I don't wanna keep you guys on here for a few hours, but I would suggest clicking this crawl button and see, um, see if it displays any broken links. So you'll see like 404 errors and things like that. And what that is basically telling you is that there are some links on your website that are broken, meaning that if somebody were to click on that link, it doesn't take them to a page, which is bad because you want people to be able to go to the pages that they're looking for when they click on your links. And that also, you know, kind of messes with your rankings in terms of Google if you have a bunch of broken links. So this one says there's no broken links to display, probably because it's a demo store, but I would suggest clicking crawl and see if this app populates any broken links and then fix the links that are broken. 
Now we're going to move on to sitemap. And what you're going to do is connect Google, um, connect your sitemap to Google. So this is super easy. You just click on this process. I'm not going to do it for this, you know, site because it is a demo store, but you would just click this green button and then follow the prompts of what it tells you to do for Google. So that's huge because that allows Google to recognize your website when you connect your sitemap to Google. So that is the smart SEO app in a nutshell. Those are the major pieces on the free plan that are huge. So even just starting with these couple of pieces on your website can improve your SEO significantly. And like I said, I'm on the free plan. This is the app that I'm using for my website and for my business as well. Um, so, and I love it. And it if you're into learning things about Shopify, how to build a website, if you wanna learn more about your email marketing or just business tips and tricks in general, then consider subscribing to my channel. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.